Have video game movies ever been good? No. Have Adam Sandler movies been good lately? No. So why would Adam Sandler make a video game movie? I believe that some alien life force sent down real life video games to attack us. That makes sense. Don't tell anybody I killed the Smurf. Pixels. So Pixels is directed by Chris Columbus, who also directed the very first Harry Potter movie. It stars Adam Sandler, Josh Gad, Kevin James, and Peter Dinklage. I'm just gonna get off the bat. The biggest, my probably my, one of my favorite parts of, parts of the movie is that the concept. The concept is such an original and funny and amazing concept. So basically, we in the 80s we sent up we sent up in a space pod time capsule for intelligent life so they could see about video games and all our pop culture so they could see what our life was was like. Unfortunately, they intercepted that, aliens intercepted that message, took it as a sign of war, come de came down to Earth and attack us with 80s video games. I'm going to start off with my, f with my things that I thought were good about the movie. There's not many of them, but there's still things that I thought that were good about the movie. The special effects visually were amazing. They absolutely were. They were if you look at the um, if you look at the trailer, they look good in the trailer. They look really good on the big screen. I mean, there's Pac-Man chasing chasing people in cars around New York City. There's Adam. They're they're playing centipede in Hyde Park in London. That's pretty fun. That's pretty fun to watch. The final climax. It looked visually stunning. It was just an amalgamation of video game character, and it was fun to watch. Which brings me to a second thing that I thought was good about the movie, is that the video game sequences were very fun to watch still. They were one, by far the best parts of the movie, and some and some video game sequences provided a few laughs. And it overall looked great. There were some laughs throughout the movie. There was, at the beginning, a couple of, there was bickering, and there was, like, childlike war between Adam Sandler and Michelle Monaghan. And that was fun. That was fun and funny to watch. There was this scene where... Kev where Adam Sandler roasts everyone who is in this like conference room in the White House, he just and it's just funny. It's kind of, it's kind of like all right, yeah, I can see why you did that. I can see why you did that. I can see why you did that. And probably one of my favorite laughs in the movie is that Josh Gad has a screaming speech towards a bunch of Marines, where he calls them insults and he calls them pussies and everything, and. That part was funny, everything else of Josh Gad's humour fell flat. Allow me to bring you to the bad parts of Pixels. It's an Adam Sandler movie. I know that's harsh, but it's an Adam Sandler movie. It has all the same laughs, that most of them are not funny whatsoever, which is weird because I heard people, like, they were watching Ted or 21 Jump Street, like, they were laughing that hard, like they had just seen the funniest thing of their lives. I didn't get it, I'm like, how are you laughing at that? Josh Gad finds most of his humour in screaming. That's not humour. Not in the slightest. Except for that scene where he's yelling at Marines, he's not funny whatsoever. Kevin James ba has an entire scene to baking cakes. It has no consequence on the movie whatsoever. He brings it up to Adam Sandler in the beginning, beginning Oh, I gotta go through marriage counselling. Oh yeah? So they bake a cake. And then they go to London and they say... And then the news people say... Well, the president hasn't really done anything about this. Except bake a cake. And there's him on a security camera baking a cake with his wife. I don't know how the news would get him... Get footage of that security camera. Which is another flaw in the movie. Kevin James is the president of the United States of America. Peter Dinklage, he tries to get a, he tries to have, he brings up multiple references saying he wants to have a threesome. And he tries to go on a date with Serena Williams. And everything with Serena Williams falls flat, everything of Josh, Peter Dinklage's humour falls flat. He has this weird Russian, Russian accent, he's got a mullet. It's just weird. I'm like, what are you doing there? Which means, in between those action sequences, it's not fun, it's not funny, it's like you question whether you're watching a comedy or not. It's marketed as a comedy. It's one of its specific genres is comedy. 
the climax is anticlimactic. I thought it would be like a video game where you go through, it is like a video game where you go through several different levels. Those levels seem isolated and despite them being fun, they are too far between from the final act, from the final climax. In the final climax, a bunch of video game characters come down and then they uh, teleported up into the alien ship and immediately they fight the boss, which is Donkey Kong. And then they go home. Which meant that it, w it was really built up with all these video games coming down. I thought they would fight, I don't know, one or two characters, like small, maybe they might fight Bowser or something. I don't know. And then Donkey Kong comes down and they fight him. Overall, Pixels is not a good movie. I can't really recommend it. I can recommend watching the action sequences, and there are a few good jokes. It is fun for those action sequences. I'm going to give Pixels a 4.5 out of 10. It's not the worst thing in the world, but I did not like it. That's my thoughts on the movie. You can leave your thoughts on the movie down below. You can like this video and subscribe to become one of the Palatapa. You can find me on Snapchat at Platypus0015, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Dum 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 dum